so right in this video we will simply create that method ok but before that we will simply update the name right in the firebase firestore ok right in here we are simply getting the name and show it right in here for the current user ok from the firebase firestore and also the email phone number everything so just for the name we will update his name ok right in here so for that we will create that method ok and there is a edit icon as you guys can see right in here ok so first we will update his name right in the firebase firestore ok so let's go above the widget build right in here ok above the widget build right in here first we will say feature ok and we will say update user name this will be a synchronous now in here we will say avid let's give the instance to the firebase firestore ok there we go add to the collection user ok and then let's take it down first right in here we will say doc ok now take it down right in the doc we will simply say firebase auth create that instance for that specific current user who is online ok and check with the uid specific uid ok now right after we will simply update his name ok so dot update ok as you guys can see right in here same colon in here now in there curly braces take it down and right in there we will say add the string name ok the name will be similar as i told you before ok right in the firebase firestore the name there and right in here it must be similar ok otherwise you will not update the name right in the collection of user right in the firebase firestore database ok so now in here we are gonna need the string trap variable ok just for the username input ok so for that let's go at the top and right in here down below we will say string type and we will name this as a user name input ok all fine now in here let's copy that now from here and go down where is that method in here ok let's press it right in here so then comma ok now right down below this method above the widget build we will create the display text input field ok as i showed you before right in here diamond ok let's go and implement that so in here we will say this will be private and we will say display text ok comfort dollar so it's going to take a build contacts contacts ok and it will be asynchronous curly brushes now in there we will simply say return and we will return the show dialog ok as you guys can see right in here it's going to take the context and build it we will remove that for now we will edit one by one so it will not look get confused ok so in here semicolon now right in there first we will set the contacts to contacts ok right after the builder ok in here we will say contacts and curly braces right down in there we will simply return the hello dialog ok curly braces right in here 
semicolon right in here now add in the alert dialog we will simply set the title and in title text okay and text we will say update your name here okay so we're going to show that message where in the title and then content will be text field okay and write in the text field on change we will set that event okay and in there in here we will take the value okay and now that in the google basis we will see the set step okay because it's a stateful widget let me show you that as you guys can see it's a stateful widget so whenever we use a stateful widget we have to call upon that right in the sys state okay it will change the frame dynamically whenever we run the app now in here you will use that okay user name input right in here you will say username input okay and you will set the value writing that username input okay as you guys can see the value right inside the username input okay so as you can then update the name okay it's gonna get it and update it so here add the cons modifier first now let's move further now let's do some decoration okay in here comma first and we will say decoration and we put decoration also we will set the hint tax okay hint tax will be type here Add the const modifier to this input decoration. Okay, that's fine. Now let's add the button. And here is the action, and then we will say elevated button. Okay, it's gonna take the on press child. We will remove that for now. We will add it one by one. Okay, come in here now. Right in the elevated button which we will set the child okay and in child we will set the text and in text first we gonna create the cancel one okay this the user will simply cancel that and let's do the styling text star as usual set the color we will set the colors we will go with the white one okay as you guys can see right in here now on press right for the cancel okay so whenever user is cancelled we will simply close that dialog okay the loading dialog so in here we will say that in the system okay as it ever before because it's a stateful widget okay it will change it dynamically whenever we run the app okay so in here you will say navigator just to remove the dialog box okay whenever the user will click on this cancel button so in here we will say navigator dot pop contacts you will simply remove the dialog box okay in here add the const modifier now right down in here let's do some stuff for that button so here we will see elevated button with style form and right in there we will set the family color ok so it's gonna be colors set this color colors dot red we will go the red one ok i will shave the artwork just in a while ok we will test the app so now we will simply create for the save one ok just to save the update name for the current user okay so now 
just for uh, time saving okay we will copy that elevated button from here to here copy it okay and write down below this elevated button okay in here paste it so the first one will be for cancel and the other one will be for a save okay as I tell you now this time the color will also be white okay but we will change the color for this elevated button style font to amber so it will look a little more change okay now right in the old press event you will move that okay remove it and in here we will simply call upon the update username okay let me show you that we created that one okay in here you will simply change this s to small s okay so it's gonna look proper then so copy that from here go down and right in this on press pull upon that okay so it's gonna simply update the username okay so we call upon that method right in here that's why okay so right after whenever the user will click on save it will update the name okay and then we will simply navigate the user to the home screen okay so in here we will say navigator to push replacement take context now we will set the material page root okay material page root that's fine here now uh, let's just set it to the home screen okay and let it end in here as you guys can see okay in here some column so all fine okay now you will simply go and call upon that okay where right in here okay in here remove that and call upon that right in here it's going to take the contacts okay so as you guys can see here so that's fine and uh, we call upon that right in here okay so we are done in here now let's go and check the output so our current user is now share okay first click on this one mando dot just refresh it okay now we are in the home screen let's go back to the profile in here as you guys can see our current username is share okay so now we will simply update this name but before that right in the firebase firestore let me show you one more time right in there first in here as you guys can see we created that instant right in the collection of a user right in the firebase firestore okay so we will go there and I will show you that right in there so in here we are in the fire store database okay and in here right in the collection of a user okay for that specific user who is online so I am online by by the account share okay it's a Peter Parker there we go with the share as you guys can see in here the name share okay now we will simply go and update that okay and then we will come back right in here just to check it let's go back to the android studio and do that in here click on this edit icon button okay and there we go okay with the text input dialog okay as you guys can see that we wrote the code before in here as you guys can see right in here update your name and everything right in here as i explained before okay cancel save okay there we go so now we will simply type in here and update the name i will change this to 
good okay as you guys can see I change this to go and let's go and save it so now in here we are on the home screen as I told you before whenever the user will click on the save button it will update the name I will show you that just in a while whenever the name will be updated we will navigate okay as you guys can see in here we are using the navigator dot push replacement we will take the user and push it to the home screen so now for now we are in the home screen okay now we will go back to the profile screen and check the name there we go the name has been successfully changed as you guys can see in here it's go now before it was share okay so it's working totally fine now we will go towards the firebase firestore database okay and we will check that right in here there we go in here it's working totally fine and the name has been updated successfully as you guys can see okay it's changed to goal before there was share okay and now when we update the name to go and in here there is a goal okay so it's working totally fine and you guys can see the result right in here in the database and also in the app okay and the android studio as i showed before so let's go back to the android studio in here as you guys can see the result all the working has been done okay and our name is updated successfully so that's it for this video okay and right in the next video we will work further so see ya